Hello there, Pisces! How are you guys doing? Huh? What are you guys up to? You don't want to tell me? Okay, I guess I'm going to have to find out. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, welcome to your love reading. Um, let's get started. Oh, yeah. Spirit is so communicative with me today, guys. We started already with three of coins. Uh -huh. What else, Spirit? You are very anxious to give a message to my Pisces. Please help. What is Pisces' current situation? Uh huh. Three of spears. Another, another three. Mm -hmm. And page of spears. Okay. Okay, Pisces. Okay. For some of you. This represents working together, planning, contracts, agreement. And because this one is basically a structure of a home, I would even go more specifically thinking that maybe you are moving in something really practical with someone, moving in together with someone, buying a home together, perhaps with your love interest, something like that. The three of coins is something very stable. I always like to, I love to use the uh, metaphor of the tripod, right? Three, giving you a good foundation, stabilizing things. And again, because it's on the practical matter, this is really working in team, teamwork. Uh, you know, so... That's uh, for some of you. I'm going to have a different reading pretty soon. But let me go and keep that one coming. Um, then we have the three of spears. Another three. Uh, which is waiting for your ships to come. Waiting anxiously for something. That you have been really anxious about. it, That you're really expecting. Um or a message or someone waiting on someone or looking to new ventures even entertaining the idea to go somewhere else to go travel to go visit someone page of spears a young energy here it's it could indicate kids children right uh in this uh, deck specifically it's looking on the other way so it's looking in the sky it's um it's entertained with something new uh the ones um it's a passionate energy okay so it's entertaining with some new passion putting this out together on reading number one pisces I would say you are working in team with your loved one and you're just waiting on them perhaps also or waiting in something that you have been very passionate about in a message more specifically, especially with the page. Pages are messengers. So, but um, again... I want to say that this is you uh, working in team, getting ready to move on to a more stable phase on this relationship, if you are in a relationship. Okay, so first I'm going to read for people that are in a relationship and then later to people that are single. Oh, actually, I'm going to go with the single first, okay? It's just easier <laughs> for the singles. Yeah, you're working in team. You're working with someone. You're planning. 
Uh, if you're single and even worried that you could be involved in a third party or getting into a foreign terrain, you may not even be knowing, but this person, and nah, you know because of the three of coins, you would know, you would be playing with it. Okay, it could indicate a third party, but uh, if you're single, that would be you getting in someone else's, uh, being the third party yourself. Um, but let's say you don't need to be, it doesn't have necessarily need to be that. So let me finish the, the reading with this not being a third party at all. This is just you working in team. Maybe it's something related with work. Maybe you're in, in love with someone at work. Could very well be that, uh, that you work in team with, that you, you guys are buddy buddies and you're really expecting to hear from this person. Um, this person may even be long distance, really physically, you guys may travel for work to see each other, um, but it could also just be uh, a little bit distant that you're not in a relationship with this person yet, and you're really, really interested in receive a message from this person, okay, so to me, it does seem like you guys are it's strongly saying that if you're single, you could have been someone at work and most likely is even long distance, okay? And you're just excited and it's a new venture for you. Um, it's a new love apparently because with the page can indicate that. <clears throat> Seems like you guys work very well together and you're just very excited and you want to hear from them. So that's number one, single reading number two, which could be involved in a third party, right? Again, it could be that this person also travels for work. You could also have met them for work. And yes, in, in the number three coming twice in the reading could speak with uh, a good part of you that this person could be in a relationship with someone else and I'm here to open your eyes and tell you everything it doesn't necessarily have to because in the first reading I told you it would be totally fine for this cards as well but it could be now let's talk about the ones that are in a committed relationship or married even and all that well again if you're already dating someone it seems like you're ready to take things to the next level you guys are planning to move on in getting something more stable and more committed here. You're working well together, you're teamwork, you're on the same page in moving in and even buying, starting investing in something practical together. Or maybe your intention is to do that because here I see you kind of waiting on something. There's waiting here twice, two waitings, and it's most likely in a message i guess maybe you propose to someone to go to the next level and you're waiting or you're hoping that they do you probably gave them hints that that's what you want and you're anxiously waiting for them to step in and do that or vice versa right it could be them waiting on you um for that matter Okay, if you're in a relationship, um, and even if you're married, it could be that, yeah, you want to move to another place, you know, go even stronger on your um, material uh, situation to get advanced, and you guys, are ju you're just waiting on them, you really want them to say yes, or something like that, and then, yeah, just like I said to the single folks, there is obviously a third party situation that could be in here. Again, doesn't have to. It's actually a very few percentage of the collective of Pisces on this, okay? Uh, but yeah, oh, the three is showing up twice here. So either you, if you're in a committed relationship, you may be entertaining someone else and then you would be waiting for them and all that you could be in that um met someone at work and yeah you're excited with that person or actually your significant other could be doing all those things they could be entertaining someone else here on his nest or, or her nest on their nest 
um, building a third person and the person is actually cooperating. I just want to say because of the three of coins is cooperation. Um, and yeah, they would be anxiously waiting on that and dealing with the, see the three of you with the spears. Yeah, and it indicates that if you are in a relationship, there's big, big chances that if the person you're involved is seeing someone else, that person is long distance. Okay, so let's go ahead and spirit, what else you have to say to my Pisces? I mean, could you clarify the three of coins? Um, so when I start getting clarification, guys, I not usually even like to do that because it becomes way more specific and then the spirits start talking to more of a part of you. So let's say that starts getting more specific, then you just take what it resonated here and you know, that's already the message was for you. Spirit will always want to reach as many people as possible. Today, my guides are really with me here. I feel them so strongly. They're really speaking out. And so they're giving very specific messages for a lot of people. It's being a blast. Okay, here we go. It's uh, clarifying the three of coins. Uh, okay. See, it's a lot of waiting. It's clarifying a lot of waiting. A lot of waiting. Okay. The three of coins as far as the seven of coins coming. Patience. This person, um, the situation of the teamwork here, it's going slow. Okay. It's going very slow. Whether if it's a third party or not, no matter what, is going slow. Let's say it's not a, par a third party. It's just you guys building something together or moving in to a different stage on your relationship well it's going slow but very steady okay um, someone has been very patiently planting the seeds they uh, have been like nurturing watering putting you know giving out the nutrients that needed but they are also evaluating either you or they I don't know who is this energy more on your relationship right uh, they're evaluating. Um, so let's say first I'm going to talk about the full, the people that are not involved in the third party, okay? If this is just moving into something like a new home or something um, or just going to the next level on your relationship. So they're evaluating here. They're putting, well, I put all the seeds. Am I getting enough? Is this good soil for this? Um, I don't know. I was expecting perhaps more or less. There, It doesn't mean that it's more or less or it's just evaluation as well. It's patience, is a resilience, but also evaluating. They could even keep going forward with this or they could cut it loose. Their deep thoughts. Hmm, how are this? Uh, okay, well, it says also the seven of coins that is in the middle. It's not as much yet as they expected the harvest, and neither too little that they think it's just to cut it off so fast. So they are putting a lot of time evaluating this. So um, now let's say that you're not in a committed relationship or you just start, you just want to well and you propose to do something with this person. That's why you're waiting is because they're thinking, they're thinking, they're taking their sweet time to go and say, well, should we really invest in a home together? What if this, what if that? Or like, well, should I commit with Pisces or... Or it could be you, right, Pisces, saying, well, should I come meet with this person who wants to do this, you know, um, together? I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes they, ask, they act nasty. They don't give me all the time. Uh, things like that, evaluating. Now, let's say that if it is a third-party situation, well, same thing. It's evaluating. Oh, my God. Uh, should I risk my main relationship with this or not or even evaluating oh my god this third party i'm really connecting with should i stay in the marriage or, or i mean sorry i don't know why i said marriage but 
Should I stay with party number one or party number two? Should I keep handling both? It's being very stressful to do both, like to handle both or, you know, or, or like, yeah, I really like to handle both. I don't want to take a, a decision. So anyways, all this kind of evaluations, okay? Or it's too risky. I should cut it off one or like, oh my God, the other one really wants me to, you know, make a decision and so on. Okay, so that's why there's so much waiting, Pisces, so much waiting. Um, one person in your relationship is uh, having other choices, okay? That is a, a, a thing, that is a thing, there are choices, but uh, we all have other choices, we always have the choice to, doesn't mean that they're entertaining other person completely, okay? It could be, but it doesn't, the choice is like stay or go, even if they're not entertaining, stay or go, right? It's other choices. Their choices should be made. So, Spirit, could you please tell me three of Spears? Oh, wow. Uh, tower. The tower. Okay, but it's on this deck. As I don't know if you guys have been following my videos, I absolutely actually love when the tower shows on this deck specifically. You know, no one likes the tower, right? It's a tower moment. Ooh. Because, as you can see, very different from the traditional deck, this tower is not breaking. It's nice and steady and strong. Despise the situation. Despise everything that's going on. Right, you see how stainless steel is a very strong structure. So to me, the tower is a shocking moment, is unexpected, yes, but doesn't mean it's breaking down and crumbles and 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 you know taking the floor out of you. It's not like it's a real breakup, if that makes sense. It's more like maybe I don't know, I don't know, I'm not gonna say. But I think what this Three of Spears is, is because the tower moment, as I said, stands still, so it's not as, as uh, strong energy like the other tarot deck. But it's basically because um, someone is hoping all this, but the lack of speed or moving on or action is, is already the tower moment. Right? It's like, why? Someone may be questioning, why my ships are not coming faster? Why not? Why not move on? How come? Right? Let's say you think the person loves you and all that. Why wouldn't they want to move on, on or move forward? So that's a red tower moment. It's like, a, what? I thought you, you're always saying amazing things. Sweet nothing on my ears. I'm the best person for you. Blah blah blah. Now that I want to move on, you don't. That, you know, action speaks uh, louder than words. That could be the tower moment, right? So yeah, right on, right there. Let's see what's the page of spears. Although I understand that it's a compliment for the three of spears, I get it. But what it mean? more specifically spirit okay oh yeah okay the king just jumped in there right hmm mm -hmm. and then we have the four of swords and then we have the four of swords that's amazing see how the king jumped this way well 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 okay so basically i feel like this is the same energy it's the same suit Right, when a court uh, shows up, I like to say what they are. I like basically their elements. This is the spears or wands, meaning Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. Okay, um, I feel like it's the same person on their most mature side and the most immature like going back and forth there are moments that this person that's why it's so slow because usually the wands those are fire fire energy they're fast dude. they're like oh yeah oh yeah however so i don't know if you're dealing with a fire sign you know when it's about commitment they don't like to commit so much <laughs> i mean doesn't mean that they don't 
but it could be the reason why there's expectations like like you know like they may jump to commitment really fast too but then it's it, it, it seems like we, this one is a mature person so it's very like going back and forth meaning worried about not committing still like fear afraid of committing but wanting to though okay the king of spears is like or wants is a very confident accomplished go get it but they go they go and get it they don't even think about too much they go and get it but since his commitment he may be thinking more about it because you see especially on this deck i mean yeah it's like yeah, it's thinking and it's like, should I send this, you know, what is out there? Uh-huh. So, because it came with the Four of Swords together when it jumped for the clarification, it means that the king, even though they are like, it's fire, they take action and all that. No, they're, they're in sleep mode right now. They're in deep thoughts. Even the fire energy guys, they 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 they're introspected every now and then, okay? Especially when they're mature, because they don't want to make. They're not like the Knight of Wands, uh, <clears throat> which is the, the you know that is a player that's a hit and run. No, this person doesn't want to hurt anybody. They they had their time doing that, even though they go to the page of. So uh, spears a little bit, but it's more uh, more that childish, naive, cute, beautiful, innocence uh, kind of energy. Not the same as the the knight, which is more hey, I'm trying everything, you know, <laughs> trying all the ladies. No, 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 that's not it. So because of that, this person appears to have a lot of passion for you if you're dealing with them and they're the the fire energy. But they're taking their sweet time. They do not know. They want to think about it. They're in deep, 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 deep introspection. So very stagnant. Very stagnant. What is the advice for my Pisces spirit? What is it? What is it? Please, please, please. What is the advice for Pisces? Mm -hmm. Ah, there he is. <laughs> the Knight of Spears. We're talking about you, dude. Now we complete all the phases of the Swans card, right? I, you could be really literally dealing with the Sagittarius, okay? So this is the Sagittarius card uh, specifically, but also can be just the night, the, the, this, the, the um, element, which is fire. It keeps validating more and more the fire energy. Again, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, okay? All right, the device is... Um, I hit and run, a player, the device is, uh, I cannot really translate, the device, it's showing that to you in the guide, in the guide, my guides, my spiritual guides here telling me to just explain to you what the um, card is, that you should resonate what the device is for you, and as I'm saying, it is the energy, mostly Sagittarius, but it's also Aries and Leo, and it is usually like, a very passionate oh my god this the night is passionate but it's fast too it, it, it has the connotation the negative side of everything has positive in it it's very confident it's so passionate it's amazing it's proud of very good and bad you know it's an amazing energy but the negative side is that could be a player could not want know what it wants when so many things at the same time it's not because they're mean that they like that they're like the narcissistic type that wants to get, you know, come off from making you hurt. That's why they play, no, no, no. It's just because they're very curious. They really want to experience life as a fool. Is They're good people. They're fire. They're actually very straightforward, usually, okay? They're like, so, especially with the Knights of, of uh, Spears here once. So let's see. Okay. <laughs> a device is to really see what, what's in the cup. There's a fish in the cup. A message of love and passion. I think they're going to decide soon. You know, I think they're going to decide. Um, wow. Page of cups. Guys means, again, 
a more a younger energy, a children energy, even naive, innocent. You know, it could be uh, like more like all aspects of a, a kid, right? There's the positive and there's the negative too. Sometimes they're little brats, right? But no, no, that's just a message of love and showing a fish in the cup. Wow, wow. It's like you're probably going to be actually surprised and that has to do with the tower. The tower. Oh my God, it could be a third person. Again, it's coming back that too. Just reminded me, the tower moment could be that you hear about this person seeing other people. Oh my God, they could have, they're going to tell you though, apparently. Okay, but they're gonna say that they love you. I mean, uh, if it's if you're dealing with a fire element, they usually tell they're not players for me, like for manipulation, for um, that narcissistic kind of type thing. Not at all, as I explained, is because they are curious, they just want to try, they think life is just once and, and they want to try everything they can, and that's why doesn't even mean anything like to hurt anybody it's just for their own experience okay basically yeah i mean in, in, so let me see more spirit please what is the advice here for pisces about basically i want to know if you can clarify the knight of spears for a spirit please what is that about and then I'm going to wrap it up, guys. Okay, I'm just going to clarify that. What is the Knight of Spears? Okay, Ace of Spears. Yes, I'm afraid there is a new passion. There, uh, not that they don't love you, but could it's a new passion. doesn't even mean a new person, okay? It could, but doesn't necessarily mean that. As I was saying here, guys, if you're dealing with the fire energy, most likely if you sit and talk to them, they may tell you, but they may say that they love you. They may even say that they love you and they are very tempted to be with you, but they want more time. They want to see what's out there. They may be very frankly with you if that's the case. And I know you're a water sign. That would hurt a lot. I'm sorry. I mean, I hope... I, I don't know. It, again, it doesn't tell about everybody. Let's see what the Page of Cups is. Six of Cups. Oh, my goodness. Okay. It could be that someone from their past came back. The third person could be an ex. Or it could just be that they feel like you are their soulmate. Even though they want to see what's out there a little bit because they're still a little immature that way uh, you are their soulmate so there's those two very different kind of readings I get it there's a betrayal type one that is yeah maybe someone is coming from I don't know I wouldn't call betrayal but maybe a third party from their past an ex could have been involved with all this or or it could, doesn't mean that it is that an ex is in the scenario and they are seeing someone else. No. Could, but it could, but it doesn't mean. Or take what resonates. Don't be a negative person either. Really listen to your heart and see what resonates. It could be the good part of this. could be that it's actually you. They're nostalgic. You know, they want to, they're thinking so much they're thinking. If they didn't like it, they wouldn't think. They would just move on. They're the Knight of Spears. They don't need to be in a relationship. They're not players like in that aspect. They would just move on for the next uh, person, you know, with more freedom even. So if they're entertaining, staying and, and, and moving in on, 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 you know, on a next level with you is because you remind them of someone in the past or even another um, life they are connected with you deeply they're nostalgic about many times you guys had together everything you guys are all your story all you know this is nostalgic and again it could be children involved again it's a lot of children involved in here i it could again be the, just the energy which is beautiful and naive kind of almost like so pure 
or there's kids involved. I don't know. It's a general reading. Uh, but uh, that's what it's saying. It could be soulmates also. Again, six. Six is soulmates, especially this one too. Okay, soulmate card. Okay, thanks, Spirit. So that's the clarification. I think the message will be either that, hey, I love you so much. Uh, uh, you are my soulmate. I miss you. I want to be with you. Or a message could be, hey, I'm sorry my ex came in and maybe that's the tower moment. But doesn't mean you're going to break up because they're going to be honest. You know, so... Um, it doesn't mean that they're really seeing the ex. It may, it may just tell you, you know, they called me. Maybe they didn't even see the person. And I got a little out of my... I got, you know, confused a little, but I love you. So it could be all that. Okay. Let's finalize. Last card, Spirit. What is the main message for Pisces, please? How can we... Okay. Queen of Cups. Oh, oh pretty. Oh, that's a lot of love in this story, guys. There's a deep love connection between you both. Deep, deep, very deep. They love you. They love you very much, and you love them. Okay, there's a lot of love in here. A lot. Yeah. Mm. It doesn't really say what's going to happen. Don't forget that this reading is just for a week. Whatever you hit in this video, it lasts for about a week. And what it's saying right now is that, that you know, you're just trying to put your intentions right there to manifest and vice versa. But there's a lot of love, a lot of love. Oh. And this could be, again, I like to say the energies, right? Like when... Um, I even forgot either the Page of Cups and also the Queen of Cups is your energy water. It's Pisces, it's Cancer, and it is, oh gosh, sometimes I have blanks. Can you believe it? <laughs> Scorpio. Holy moly. Oh my God. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> I get a little blanks every now and then. It's because I try to listen to the spirit and I get out. Okay, guys, this was your reading. Pisces, can I say something? I love you guys so much. You support me so much. I appreciate it. I just want to tell you I am sending you so much love. Thanks for your support. You know what comes around goes around, and I appreciate that so much. Just so you know, I wish you so much, uh, all the best, and I do wish that you have a, a great you know, you deserve the best of this world, Pisces. I love you guys very much. I think, I hope I see you in the next reading. Have a wonderful week. Mm -hmm.